So we're going to take a very quick look at the Xaris Payment Partner product. This is our virtual card solution that's been optimized for travel payments. And I'm going to log into our demo travel agency, Move On. Now, Payment Partner is a relatively simple system to help you manage funding and manage the issuance of cards. Uh, the thing I'll point out at the start is that every interaction you see me take, uh, take you through on screen here is also backed by an API to facilitate uh, system to system interactions. So two key areas that we're going to look at today. We're going to look at the funding screens and we'll look at card issuance and card management. Firstly, looking at funding. Payment Partner provides you with a, a fully functional uh, system to manage funding accounts and balances and move money between different funding accounts. We'll look very quickly at our funding account screen. So funding accounts are a representation of the money that you've deposited with Xaris to enable you to issue cards. These funding accounts can be in a range of currencies. In this example, we have three currencies set up for this uh, particular travel agency, Euro, GBP, and US dollar. But the Xara system supports a wide range of funding currencies. From this screen, you can view the ba balance uh, within the funding account, the actual balance, and the balance that's available. And from that point, you can also take a range of actions. If I click on the Actions button, we'll see that I can transfer money into the funding account. I can withdraw money out of the funding account back to my bank account or I can view a range of different statements and reports around the funding, uh, funding account balances. Okay. Looking at the issuance of cards, once you have money in the system, you want to be able to issue cards. We do that through the Payment Partner menu. Here we can look at the Request New Cards option. I have the option to issue a batch of cards or a single card. For this, I'll look at a single card, which takes me to a screen that allows me to uh, select the card that I want to issue. We'll see we've got a range of menus. We have the card factory, the currency, the amount, and the funding account. Now the card factory represents the different types of cards that we can store in the system. So in this example, we have a Visa single use card, we have a MasterCard single use card, and we have a Visa multi-use card. These can also represent the different card types, whether it be a high interchange card to maximize rebate revenue, or a low cost card to avoid surcharges. In this instance, I'm gonna pick the MasterCard single use card uh, to, to show uh, this card creation. I'm going to pick GBP as my currency, and I'm going to select an amount of £10. And because I'm creating an account in GBP, I'm going to fund it from the GBP funding account. You'll see here I also have the opportunity to add a range of custom fields. I can add a specific ID that might be an internal reference from my perspective. And then I can add some uh, specific custom fields. That may be an invoice number. or it could be a ticket number in the case of an airline transaction. And then I submit my request. And the system will go away and in real time create a virtual card based on the parameters I've just submitted. So here we can see the card image and we can take the card detail, we can take the expiry date and we can take the CVV and I could go and transact on, a, on an airline's website. Or indeed, this could be an API message uh, going between uh, the Xara system and an airline booking, uh, booking engine. <clears throat> and as we come down the page, we can also see the details of that transaction, including those custom fields that I created earlier. And those custom fields stay with the transaction through its life cycle. So when it comes to your reconciliation, you can match the card deployment data stored by Xaris, the financial transaction through the card schemes, and deliver back to your systems a fully reconciled transaction. In addition to these screens, we are able to manage the cards that we've created. If I look at the Manage Cards menu, we can see a range of the cards that we've created in the system, and I have a range of actions that I can take around those. So I have an active card here for 50 euro, and maybe I don't want to use that card anymore. So clicking on the Actions tab, I have the option to freeze that card. By freezing the card, it makes it uh, inactive and, and therefore unusable. Uh, but that's only a temporary status. So once I've frozen the card, I might choose that I do want to use it in the future, and I can then thaw the card, which will make it immediately available for use again. I also have the opportunity to add more money onto the card if my transaction is going to be larger than I expected, or move money off of the card if I don't need as much, uh, as much value on the card for the transaction that I'm looking to make. And that's a very quick run through of the Xaris Payment Partner product. It's a highly functional virtual card solution specialized for travel payments uh, to help you optimize your payments and really drive costs out of your processing.